Welcome to Cook to Nourish. Today I have brought you three easy sugar-free recipes for Diwali. The first one is a chocolate dry fruit burfi or you can even make it as a laddu. So here I am removing the pits from Majdool dates. Now Majdool dates are what I recommend because they are softer and I have about a cup or which comes out to be about 225 grams of the dates pitted. And next I'm going to in a large baking tray lined with parchment paper. I'm adding half a cup or I'm sorry, one cup of chopped walnuts, half a cup of chopped cashew nuts, and one fourth cup of pecans. You can use any combination of nuts. Here I have used nuts that I am able to tolerate. As you know, I have been able to reintroduce some nuts, and those are the nuts I'm adding in here. Now we also add one fourth cup of pumpkin seeds and one fourth cup of sunflower seeds. So this way you get like a really good uh, mix of nutrients. This um, burfi is really a healthy and nutritious one because you not only have nuts, but you also have healthy seeds, pumpkin seeds and um, uh, sunflower seeds, which are good for your hormonal balance. Now, as the, sun, um, the nuts are toasting, in a pan, add 2 tablespoons of ghee. If you are intolerant to ghee or dairy intolerant, then you can add coconut oil instead. And when it gets hot, all you're doing is just dump all the dates onto that pan. And we will just cook them for about 5 minutes or so until the dates turn really soft and mushy. You know, remember we have to ultimately turn them into a burfi. So what we're trying to do is um, make them softer. You could even chop the dates here and, you know, before doing this step. But since we are going to be adding it into the food processor, I avoided that step. Now, once the dates are cooled, you add it to your food processor I am using my Preeti mixer which also kind of works as a food processor and then I have the toasted nuts and seeds here so I'm dumping all of that into the mixer as well and then I'm going to give it a quick blitz just in pulses like 10 and 20 seconds total and I'm dumping the mixture into a tray a parchment paper and getting all the you know the date and the nut mix mixture out depending upon your food processor uh, what kind of food processor or blender you have this process might take you a little longer but um, you know remember to keep opening it and uh, kind of stirring the mix now Next, what we are going to do is we are going to actually knead it. So we need some muscle power here to do that, you know, to knead with your hands. So the dates uh, have actually turned really soft by cooking as well as by this blending step. So all we need to do is just bring the whole mixture together like a dough. Now, we also have to add another key ingredient. That's our raw cacao powder, which is what makes it chocolate dry fruit uh, burfi right so we are going to add two tablespoons in total but i'm going to add it in mix as i'm kneading the dough i'm going to add one tablespoon first and then as all that cacao gets incorporated then i'm going to add the rest of it uh, this step does take a few minutes but not more than five to seven minutes so now I'm adding the other tablespoon of cacao and continuing to knead it. At this stage, if your if you feel like your you know mixture is a little bit dry, you can add a little bit more coconut oil or ghee. Now you've turned it into you know this log, and now we are going to roll it in some poppy seeds, or you can also use some sesame seeds. And basically, just you know that. Uh, makes it additionally nutritious as well as it looks good now you need to refrigerate it for about an hour so that it gets nice and firm and i refrigerated it overnight and see how nice and firm it has become and you can 
easily cut it into uh, these rolls or burfi, whatever you want to call it. See, that's beautiful. That's your chocolate dry fruit burfi. The next one is kaju anji rolls or cashew and dried fig rolls. This is also a sugar free recipe. Now take one cup of cashew nuts and um, just blitz it in the food processor until you get like a powder coarse, it slightly coarse is okay consistency but it should not have any like a big chocolate or chunks of cashew nut it slightly coarse is okay try to make it as fine as possible but with cashew you know the more you process it it might turn into butter so you have to remember to kind of pulse it slowly next you add one fourth cup of hot uh, boiling water to the boiling water that had been boiling and this way you are kind of turning it into a paste and next we add one fourth cup of coconut flour now this is an important ingredient because it will help this dough come together smoothly because cashew you know powder is like sticky adding this coconut flour makes it um, easier to kind of make the rolls okay so once you add that then we need honey so in this recipe actually um, I'm using honey as a sweetener. If you have seen my kaju katli recipe that I have posted uh, before, I have used honey as well and I got some comments saying that honey should not be heated. So that's why this time I decided to do it this way where I am you know, kneading the cashew nut powder first in hot water and then adding the honey later on. So um, you know this way you can actually adding the coconut flour also actually makes gives this a good consistency so if you don't want to make the rolls you can just use this dough and make um, kaju katli from it you know like just cashew nut fudge now keep it aside for a little, uh, few minutes and um, or sorry before keeping it aside actually add a few drops of rose essence or rose water and um, that gives it like really really great flavor and makes these rolls to die for now keep that in the fridge to set for a few minutes and now we will make the filling now anjeer is dried figs so here i'm using turkish organic turkish dried figs and chopping them you know kind of like this very fine or uh, how much ever you can chop it and we are going to do the same thing that we did with the dates. I'm using the same pan because, you know, it's it was just dates that I used earlier. So I'm again using two tablespoons of ghee. And to that, um, I'm adding that uh, three-fourth cup of dried figs, chopped figs. You know, it came up to three-fourth cup. And we'll be cooking it for about seven to eight minutes until soft. Again, cool them uh, before you blend them in a food processor. Now, in this case, I'm using because the mix, uh, you know, I have less amount of mixture. I am using the small jar of my Preeti food mix uh, mixer, and I'm adding to that half a cup of chopped walnuts. Now blitz it together again I hardly blitz it for like 20 seconds and it nicely came together. This is our filling mixer mixture that we are going to use for the our kaju anjeer rolls. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so I came up with the idea of using anjeer because I really loved kaju pista rolls and now I cannot eat um, pistachios I'm you know still sensitive to pistachios. And that's why I thought of trying this with um, anjeer or dried figs. So what we are doing is, you know, now the ro uh, dough, if you've kept in the fridge for about uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes, it's easier to handle. You can apply some ghee to your palms that helps you to kind of um, flatten the dough. So I'm trying to flatten it and make it into a rectangular shape so that I can make rolls out of it right 
So pat it on a parchment sheet paper with your hands gently and next we will try to add the fillings to it and make the rolls. So now before like placing the filling on the that sheet of cashew I am actually taking a, a little bit of filling in my hands and trying to create like a small um, firm log piece out of it. Now I'm doing this step only so that the filling in the roll is tight. You know otherwise when you're trying to roll it it becomes a little bit harder. You'll understand as I'll show you how to do this. See that making that roll kind of makes it easier you know to roll the entire um, cashew roll together. So now this step right you're doing like a sushi if you've done a sushi uh, roll before with the sushi mat that's exactly what I'm doing here I'm rolling the parchment sheet from behind and basically using that parchment sheet to roll the cashew um, roll and slowly I do it until I use about half the sheet so because I'm going to make two uh, rolls out of it so once I reach in the middle of the sheet then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to cut that um, half piece of it so yeah you have to be very gentle when you're doing that because it is a kind of like a little bit tricky I wouldn't say it's like uh, very hard but you have to have patience to do this uh, process and uh, just a little bit of technique you know basically just using the parchment sheet to roll it um, and you know like how I'm doing so gently roll the parchment sheet and then use your hands then again roll it using the parchment sheet and again then use your hands to complete that process now again these rolls also before cutting um, it's best to keep them in the refrigerator for an hour or so so that they set better otherwise when you cut it will get all mushy and the filling might just come outside so make sure it is nicely set in the fridge before you cut and for cutting also it's very important that you use a large sharp knife the knife has to be really sharp otherwise your rolls will not cut well so I'm trying to cut them into like one inch about one inch rolls uh, and uh, these look really pretty right I was really impressed by these and they taste absolutely delicious so you can do like large one inch rolls or you can actually also make smaller rolls so see for the next uh, piece I am doing like smaller you can do like half inch size as well which uh, makes more sense because you know these are sweets and um, when you are eating a lot of Diwali sweets it makes sense to eat tiny portions uh, but I'm sure you will like this uh, sweet so do try it now the next uh, one that I have for you is coconut anjir laddus and this is like a bonus treat because we had some filling remaining you know the filling that I used for the kaju anjir rolls so I had about three-fourth a cup of that filling remaining as you can see here so all we are going to do here is to that filling we are going to add some dried or uh, shredded coconut organic I'm using uh, it's also like called desiccated coconut but make sure it is not sweet and does not have any sugar right so this is unsweetened uh, shredded coconut now adding I'm adding some coconut sugar to this but that is totally optional because the filling also is sweet now I made the decision to add some coconut sugar because I'm making this for my family and friends so I know, know that they will appreciate the additional sweetness if I were making it for myself I would probably skip the coconut sugar 
Now I forgot to show that I also added some cardamom to this and that gives it a nice Indian uh, laddu flavor and I also added a pinch of salt as you saw and see easily this mixture comes together as laddus. You don't have to you know spend a lot of time to make these laddus just gently very easily within one to two minutes you can um, form laddus easily with this mixture and they are absolutely delicious. So you can just make these laddus too. You don't have to make the cashew anjir um, thing. You know, this is a recipe in itself. So I hope you can um, try all these recipes and they are all sugar free and just have natural sweeteners like dates and dried figs, um, etc. Hope uh, you like all these recipes don't forget to like as well as to subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon button for getting notifications